a bit. Um, and our home, where we are now near Elland Road, works quite well because there used to be a dog track in that area. Um, so um, it, that works quite well. Now we brew basically four core beers. Um, we have a 3.7% uh, standard bitter called House Dog. A uh, now 4.2% um, English pale ale called English Whippet. Then it goes up to a 5.2% oatmeal stout, which is brewed using oatmeal, which gives the, the beer a, a sort of smoother mouthfeel. And the top of the shop for the trendier bars is a 5.7% um, English um, IPA, uh, which is pretty tasty, but doesn't blow your head off like some of the American IPAs. Now, what we've got on the bar tonight um, is uh, three prototype beers. The, the first two, um, the Blonde is a prototype of a beer that we're going to be brewing um, in bottles for the Retired Greyhound Trust, um, who we're, we're, we're big friends with. Um, that beer um, is going to be going into every uh, Greyhound truck in the, the country, um, and also um, some exclusive beer shops. Um, so this is a prototype of that. Um, we're probably going to make a couple of tweaks to it, but um, I'm pretty happy with it. You'll have to tell me. Uh, individually if you like it later on. Now, now the second beer, um, the Irish Red Ale, um, that's going to be a first in our uh, seasonal range of beers, um, so that'll actually be called Spring. Um, I uh, nearly, very nearly made a faux pas and abbreviated the style on the uh, on the pump clip, which would have been IRA, so I've uh, <laughs> got that one, but uh, we have tweaked the recipe to this and that'll be available um, in in all the uh, the sort of Thai pubs uh, by the the end of the month. Now the last beer is a special one for you this evening. That will be never on anywhere else. Um, it's brewed using um, hand roasted coffee from our friends at uh, uh, North Star Coffee in Meanwood in Leeds. Um, now it is the debut um, of a new brewer I've taken on. Um, at at Whitsit we have uh, we have. I have a head brewer, um, Ross, who has been in the brewing trade for about four or five years now. Um, I have another brewer um, who is a technical brewer called James, who's been in the trade for about two or three years. He's The technical brewer just means that you're more in charge of the packaging of the beer uh, and, and the quality of the side of the beer. Um, we've just taken on um, another brewer um, this, since January. Um, Katie, who's, who's sat over, over here, give them a wave, Katie. She's taking over on Katie. Uh, and Katie uh, is getting trained up at the moment as an assistant brewer, um, but we'll have a, uh, a distinctive remit um, to look at yeast strains and things like this. Um, so that's what she's going to be doing now. Um, Katie, we call her a brewer. Lots of people might call her a brewster um, because. Um, Women in the brewing trade, basically, um, they were the people that started brewing were, were women. If you go back to Mesopotamia those times, it was all women that were doing the brewery, the brewing. Um, in the UK, um, in the medieval times, it was all brewing. In fact, some of them they were, were called brewsters, they were called ale wives, which is a, a term you don't hear much these days. Um, but with it brewing, uh, we just call her a brewer because everybody's treated the same down our neck of the woods, so she'll have to get used to that. <laughs> <laughs> but we've, we've got high hopes for her. Um, she knows a cask ale. Um, she's a doctor, um, a science doctor, not a, not a 99 say <laughs> doctor. So, that's very right. handy for her. Uh, so hopefully, um, this is her debut, the first ever beer she's brewed, so I hope you, you like that. I hope you, you can have a chat with her and ask her about uh, how she's, she came up with the rest of it, things like this. Now lastly, um, I'd just like to thank four, four people. When you start up a brewery, um, it sounds quite easy, but it is quite a hard um, task. So there are four specific people I'd like to thank while I've got the opportunity now. The first of them uh, is my wife Alison, who without her there wouldn't be a brewery because um, she's given up part of her, uh, her life to drop casts off here and there and uh, and, and be a sounding board for various things and uh, and we could, really couldn't do it without her. The second person who I wouldn't be uh, here without is uh, 
uh, a, a dear departed friend of ours, uh, Simon Balderson, who used to own a brewery in Leeds called Richside. Um, without him, we wouldn't got into brewing. He, he persuaded us to, to make the, uh, the change, and we have done, and not look back, and I'm sure I'd be, be quite proud of us. He was a very big uh, Queen fan, so much so that um, in his latter years when he was ill, uh, even uh, Dr. <coughs> Brian May sent him a, a, a goodwill uh, a, a, a good wishes. Um, and every time we hear Queen, we always think of Simon, so he's another one to thank. The, uh, the third person to thank is uh, Dr. Chris Pask, who's over here. Um, he's the <laughs> other half of, uh, of uh, Katie, and without him, uh, she wouldn't be in Leeds, so thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> um, lastly, and I'm sure I don't have to tell you all, uh, I need to, to thank uh, Mr. Beerhouse, Dave, who uh, is a great help to us. Um, he's on the end of the phone and uh, wants to advice and help, and uh, I don't need to tell you he, he, he knows his beer. Uh, so thank you, uh, mate. And the last thing uh, I want to say is uh, the buffet's open if you want any food. I think they've already found that. <laughs> <laughs> the, the buff pork is, uh, has been cooked for almost 24 hours in the, uh, in the red ale. <laughs> just before I leave you, um, I'll just tell you just a briefly about a couple of more beers that we've got coming up. Um, we have two specials uh, per quarter now. One is um, a specific one that's always going to be brewed at the strength of 4.5. That's just because of a quirk of, of how we get into tide pubs. It has to be 4.5 all the time. That'll be the Irish Red Ale. The other um, half of it which will be sold into the free trade, which will be debuted really, possibly, if you can get it ready in time, at the Leeds Beer Festival next week, is going to be a milk chocolate, um, a milk chocolate mild, uh, that's brewed using um, chocolate made specially for us at the York Cocoa House. Um, it's quite hard to brew with chocolate because of the high fat content, you have a bit real problem. So we have to get this, this chocolate specially made for us. And uh, Dr. Katie is going down there on Tuesday to to do the tastings and uh, and get it right. The woman there is, is really switched on. Um, there's a York, um, cho York chocolate stout over here by Rudgate, uh, which is chocolate in from the same source. Um, but as I say, every batch is, is made for our specific uh, recipe. So that's one to look out for from, uh, from the end of the month. And uh, that's about it. If you need to know anything, want to know anything, just come and give us a shout. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah.